Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. When you talk about aquatic animals like uh, fishes, now since they live in water, so for respiration anyways, they, for internal respiration they also need oxygen. But now they are not exposed to air, so they need to breathe in oxygen which is dissolved in water. So for that purpose, they have specialized structures. Like in case of fishes, they have gills. And gills have the ability to absorb oxygen that is dissolved in water. Now, an interesting thing that has been observed is that the rate of breathing of aquatic animals is higher than that of the terrestrial animals. So, the aquatic animals breathe faster. Now, why do they breathe faster? Now, since they live in water and the amount of oxygen in water and the amount of oxygen in air, if you compare the two, there is more availability of oxygen in the air. So now when these aquatic animals, they need to have more and more oxygen. So they need to breathe really faster to, to get the required amount of oxygen within their body. So that is why their rate of breathing is comparatively faster than terrestrial animals. So here in this picture, you can see the gills very closely. This is how the gills look like. Now let us consider how respiration happens in other terrestrial animals, maybe in insects or amphibians like frogs or in humans. Now, as discussed, these terrestrial animals, they need to take the oxygen that is present in the atmosphere. So they just need to breathe in that oxygen. And inside our body, different organisms have different specialized organs. So if you talk about insects. So in case of insects, they have a network of tube-like structures called trachea. So in insects, they have network of tubes. Tube-like structures are there, which are which can be considered as wind pipe. So when they take in the oxygen, so they passes through these tube-like structures, and they, not only a single tube is present, there is a network of tubes, and there are some external openings, and those external openings are called spiracles. So basically, the air enters through these spiracles, and then they travel through the tubes called trachea. So that's how uh, the insects breathe in. So that's how respiration happens in insects. When you think of amphibians like frogs, they do not have any specialized organ for oxygen absorption, but their skin acts as the surface. Their skin acts as the respiratory surface. So, and this is true for many other animals also where they do not have any specialized organ to absorb oxygen, but there is a surface on their body with, through which gaseous exchange can take place. So if you look at the skin of the amphibians, they have a very slimy skin through which exchange of gases can happen. If you think of human beings, now human beings again have specialized organs called the lungs. Now lungs alone do not form the respiratory system. There are many other parts of respiratory system like the nostrils, the windpipe, etc. But lungs are like the main organs where the actual exchange of gases take place. So when you, in higher classes, when you learn about the respiratory system of human beings in more detail, then you will understand the exact role of lungs and how gaseous exchange take place. In case you are interested to know about it, you can refer the biology video lessons of class 11 to learn in detail about the human respiratory system. So this is how we see that all living organisms, be it plants, animals, insects, all of them respire. Why? Because the cells of their body need oxygen to get energy from the food that we eat. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.